guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something pretty fun and pretty useful. I'm excited about it. So here I just have a disc bound notebook just of filler paper that I've had for quite some time. And all I have left is blue dot grid and then just this plain white with the purple. I'm feeling like using dot grid today. So I'm gonna pop out two pages of this dot grid here. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side, set this up, and what we're going to be doing today is creating a reusable planner spread. So if you have a disc bound or a ring bound planner, now I don't have any ring bound planners currently, however, you could use the same method in your ring bound. I wanted to show you how you can create a layout that you could just keep reusing. Um, for example, this week, I just wasn't feeling like creating a new layout. And there are certain weeks. Now, I should mention, if you're new to my channel, I don't use a pre-designed planner. I just draw my own layouts every week. And there are some weeks where maybe I just am not in the mood to do that. Or maybe I'm just too busy and would just really like to have one already pre-made. Now, if you do have a planner, just you know, a planner that's already, you know, designed and, and ready to go, you could also do this as well just to change it up. So what we're going to be doing is the first step is to draw the actual layout. Now I've given this some thought and as far as creating a reusable layout, I thought that the layout that I would love to come back to the most would be that cloth and paper inspired layout. I'll put a picture here on the screen so you can see what we're going to be creating. Uh, the reason that I like it so much is because it's so simple to create. Um, and it's something that I just feel like never gets old. It's always very functional, but you can also dress it up. It's just super cute. So I thought that the cloth and paper layout would be what we would do today. And so what I like to do when I'm using dot grid is I know it's annoying and I should have it memorized at this point, but I like to count the dots and then I'll just divide that in half and find the center for the finding like the horizontal center of the page and that's where I'll draw my line. And I do know that it's about three and a half inches from the left side of the page. So that would be just about right here. But I do, when I'm using a grid, I like to count the dots just to make sure it's perfectly even. That may not be something that you care about, but I wanted to show you anyway. So what we're gonna do is just count these dots. I'm gonna speed this up for y'all. Fifty-four. There are fifty-four dots vertically on this page. So half of fifty-four is. I'm not pulling out the calculator at all. Twenty-seven. I knew that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to count twenty-seven dots from the top of the page. One, two, three, four. Six. Twenty-seven would be right here. So I'm going to go ahead and make a mark okay and like i said it's about three and a half inches from the left hand side of the page so i just have my ruler here and three and a half would be right here which is just almost to this dot so i am going to count i just want to make sure it's even i'm going to count how many dots there are going horizontally across the page 39 so it's not even, unfortunately. So that's where you're gonna run into, it's not gonna be completely perfect, okay? So what I'm gonna do, since it's not even, it's not an even 40, I'm just going to, so you see this three and a half inch mark would be right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and move it one over. So now that we know that this is the center, we're just going to draw a line straight across and then straight down where this dot is. Oh, pro tip, something I learned the hard way. Make sure after you draw along your ruler that you just kind of like wipe it off because then it can smear on the page. And yeah, I learned that the hard way. So again, that's, that's the kind of basis of what the layout is. So it'll be, and you can do this however you want. And I'm gonna leave it um, you know, up to you, obviously, to do this however you would like. But what I do personally is I start this left 
this box up here in the left hand corner I make this Monday and so I do Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and then this last box can be notes it can be things to move to next week it can be whatever you want it to be and I'm going to keep that open so that I can change it every week but I know every week I'm going to want it to be you know Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday etc so I am going to label that when I make this reusable and then to do the other page you don't have to worry about counting or any of that just make sure you line up your two pages put your ruler down and you can see that it goes straight across here so you're just going to draw your line All right, so the hard work is done. That's the hardest part. Totally up to you if you would like to thicken the lines, if you wanna, you know, I, I have them pretty thin right now. I think I do want to thicken them up just a hair. So if you would like the lines to be very thin, this will obviously be perfect for you. I just use a regular Sharpie pen and I do think I wanna thicken them up just a little bit. So I'm gonna use a Papermate Flare, just the uh, medium tip one. One that looks like that. And just slightly thicken up these lines. God, I love a good paper mate flare, don't you? All right, guys, so now that we are ready to decorate, this part would be totally up to you. I'm just going to show you what uh, what I'm thinking as far as decorating this spread. And I have to keep in mind that I'll be reusing this. So I wanted to choose a theme that I knew I wouldn't get tired of. Something that was semi-neutral and not really seasonal. Um, something that I could just always come back to year-round. And I went with Book Gazer from the Honey Bee Shop. This is from the... Um, babe box subscription box and I do give myself a little pug I do have a link in my description box that will get you 15% off at the honeybee shop and I will receive uh, bees which are points for me to get um, basically to, just to get money off of my future orders so if you're not comfortable with that that's totally fine you can just visit the honeybeeshop.com if you're interested in this this was from the babe box um, for November, but I do believe this is still for sale on the Honeybee Shop website as they do sell the extras from the bait box. And so these clear stickers came in, came with the box. I thought this would be good because it's very neutral, but it's so pretty and I just feel like I could never get tired of this theme and this color scheme. Like, it's beautiful. Okay, so something that came in the bait box with this sticker book is this washi tape. I'm obsessed with this. And it is perforated, but you don't have to rip it, obviously, so you could just use it like that. Um, so I'm trying to decide how I want to use it because I don't want to use it for my date headers this week. Um, I know I've done that before and I use this. I'll get to this in a minute. I'm obsessed with it. I do think I want to... Just kind of use this as decoration up here actually i want to do it here because this is going to be the box that will be like notes or things to move to the next week or basically this box is a free-for-all it's whatever i want it to be each week and it will change i'm obsessed with this washi fully obsessed and so as far as the days of the week. I'm going to try something different. So when I first got this, I did a layout where I layered this, which I can't get enough. I cannot get enough of this. Let me just show you. This is days of the week, clear washi, and it's perforated. Oh my God. I'm, I'm just, I am so in love with it. I'm so in love with it. So last time I did a layout with this theme, I put this down and then I put this on top of it. And that was super pretty, but I want to do something a little bit different. So here's what I'm thinking. Now, I know these are like flags, but I thought it would be really pretty. Let's just, let's try. Are there seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, there's six. And no, that's not going to work. There's only six, so that's not going to work. <clears throat> so 
ixnay on that. I could use these boxes, which I have already used a couple, so I may have screwed that up. You know what I could do? I could use these for like Monday through Friday, and then for Saturday and Sunday, I could use these just to change it up for like the weekend, like have something different for the weekend. I don't know. I think we'll try that. Change of plans. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to reuse these on a different spread. But for this, I want to make sure there's room for a date because this is reusable. So I really want to make sure um, you can actually, you know, have a date cover on it. So I'm just going to carefully peel these up. Shouldn't damage the paper. Anyway, so change of plans. Here's what we're going to do. Going to make this very easy so we just have to decide do we want this one or this one i'm partial to this darker one i think this darker one is really freaking pretty all right so we're gonna do the same thing one over and one down now this one will be actually two over because of where this uh where it's punched so this would be one down and then one, two over. All right, so we got our days of the week on there. Looks great. Now, as far as this, I am just going to put, thinking I might do one of these clear strips. I think with this, I don't know, I think gray might be pretty. See how this goes. It's pretty. Oh, it'd be really pretty if it wasn't crooked. <laughs> Very pretty. So what I can do is once I am able to write on this when it is reusable, which I'll show you, I could just write right on top of where this little box is. I could do even more layering and do one of these or do one of these flags. This one is like, oh my god, it's so pretty. This color. Is this like so extra to, to layer twice? Is that like, guess what? Guess what? Mm. guess what we're not doing it I don't like that <laughs> I don't like the flag but I do think this would be pretty oh I like that that looks a little bit crooked but y'all if I obsess over this I am never going to get through this video okay so now that we have our dates we're gonna do a little bit of decorating. Now, obviously we are not doing any planning. We, because this will be reusable, we don't wanna write anything. Um, so the only reason you'll need a pen is to draw the lines. And actually you could use washi, so you wouldn't even need a pen. But yeah, we're just going to decorate this and have it be something that you can come back to week after week and look at and think, you know, wow, that is super pretty because I just, I absolutely love this theme. I think I want to save this for something else. And I just, I just thought this would be a really good um, theme to use because it's something that's very neutral while still being like, it's not boring. It's very beautiful and like fun to look at.
Now when I have leftover pieces from like a corner like this, I usually stick them like on like a line, like they're poking out of the center. I just hate to waste it, it's so pretty. I saw somebody do that a long time ago and I said, you know what, that's a good idea. Can't waste that, look at that. Okay, I think we're finally done creating the spread. So now we're gonna make this reusable, something we can pop into our planner week after week. So since this will be reusable, you will have to erase, you know, from week to week to reuse it. That's kind of obvious, but just to let you know, if you're somebody who doesn't like to erase any of your spreads, your past spreads, you may not want to do this. But uh, what I do is I create the spread and I take a picture of it and then I erase it and reuse it. So now what we're going to do is you will need a laminator for this. I can't speak personally to laminating pouches. I know they sell them like at Dollar Tree where you don't have to have a laminator and you can just use a pouch. I'm really not sure. Like I can't speak if anybody has used those and can, you know, can either recommend or not recommend them. Please leave a comment below for, for others and for myself. But I do have a laminator and my laminator is a um, scotch laminator that I purchased at Target. I spent less than $20 on it, and it's one of the greatest purchases I've ever made. Now, very recently, very recently, I thought I broke it, and I was really upset, but I fixed it. I do have a video on my channel on how to fix the laminator because I couldn't find a, another video on YouTube of this exact same laminator with someone showing how to fix it. So I did create that video, which I'll link uh, in the cards, but... What I'm gonna do now is grab my laminating pouches. All right, what you do, open up the pouch. Put it all the way to the end here. To make it easier on myself, I'm going to put it right up there to the edge. All right, and I do have other videos on my channel where I've actually shown how to run something through the laminator, so I'm not gonna do that and be kind of redundant, but I'm gonna go run these through the laminator. You put the uh, sealed side down into the laminator, and I will be right back. All right, so as you can see, our spread is laminated. So now the next step is to obviously cut it out and then we are going to punch it. And I'm also gonna show you another way if you don't have a punch, how you can get this uh, laminate out of the holes there. Now, if you don't have a paper trimmer, you can obviously just use scissors, but since I do have one, I'll be using this. But scissors will do just fine. So now that this left side is laminated, I just wanna show you how you can cut these out if you don't have a punch. Now, I'm not gonna say that this isn't time consuming and tedious and annoying, cause it is, but <laughs> it does get the job done. So all you have to do is take your X-Acto knife and just cut on those lines. If you don't have a punch, you can do that. But I do, so I'm gonna use mine. <laughs> Make sure I line it up correctly. This part gives me anxiety. Actually, you know what guys? I'm actually not gonna use the punch. The arc punch, the punch isn't exactly the same and I don't want it to look weird. So I'm actually going to take some time and cut each of these out and I'm gonna do that off camera cause I ain't gonna, I am not gonna bore y'all to death. All right, so obviously if you have a happy planner punch, you could just punch this, be on your merry way. If you're using a Staples arc notebook, you can use the arc punch. Um, I just, the punch isn't exactly the same, so I didn't want to mess it up. But the important part here is to show you how to write on this reusable spread. So this is the best freaking wet erase marker I have ever used in my life. And I, I believe it was, I can't remember how I was recommended this marker, if it was someone on Instagram or if it was someone in a Facebook group, 
can't remember, but I'm so glad I purchased these. So these are, I got them on Amazon. I will put the link in the description. I'm just going to be using the black one, but there are other colors. And I'm going to show you how great this is. So let's say, let's say we're going to use this for this week, okay? So to do for today, submit final grades, okay? Now, as you can see, you can rub this off with your finger, okay? Which does make it easy if you make mistakes, but... Here's the important part. Okay. I don't know. Film video. <laughs> okay. When you put this in your planner, this is what I have near me, so this is what we're going to use. And again, I haven't cut this out yet, but when you put this in your planner, it will not rub off onto the page. That's the biggest thing that I was worried about was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to put this in my planner and the ink's all going to freaking rub off and it's going to be no good and it's going to ruin it. You'll see that. Nothing. Okay. That's the most important thing um, about using the right marker. This is, it's called a non-permanent Lumo color by Stetler. Stetler? I, yeah, I don't know. Um, and so the easiest way to clean off, so once you have your spark kind of filled up, the easiest way to clean this off at the end of the week, I showed you you can, you can rub it off with your finger, but obviously you don't want to do that. The easiest thing to do, run it under some water. Just run it right under the faucet. You can also just take like a little cotton ball with some water and wipe it off that way. And I'm going to show you that right now. So this is just a, co a wet cotton ball, just wet with water. Wipe it right off. There you go. That's the great thing, too. If you mess up when you're writing, you don't have to worry about white out or anything. You just wipe that right off. All right, guys, and that is our reusable planner spread. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it, and I've been wanting to make another reusable spread, so this was perfect, uh, double purpose for me. So if you found this helpful, uh, please share it with a friend who you think would like it. Give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to check out more of my content. And I will see you next time.